I'm back with that crankshaft that had the terrible run out and um, actually it turns out it wasn't a 350 set of flywheels it was actually a 500 set of flywheels but with a 350 type conrod on it so I strongly suspect someone's been messing about with it actually and um, just to compound matters I left the timing side flywheel alone with the crank pin left in it when I split it to change the conrod um, but putting it back together as when uh, I first looked at the crank actually I noticed that the crank pin nut on the uh, timing side flywheel seemed to be uh, showing a few internal threads like it hadn't been screwed all the way down. I tried to tighten it and found that the threads had been stripped. I changed the nut, tightened the nut, same again, a few threads showing when it went tight, went a little bit more threads seem to strip in the second nut and um, basically the flywheel wasn't going fully home and there was a little bit of excessive side to side play on the big end and I couldn't really understand why and I tried pressing the flywheels further together in the fly press here but they wouldn't go uh, so I decided I'd better get the time inside flywheel off and have a look and they got a huge radius there on the crank pin. Now a radius is a good thing. There's also a bevel on the inside on, on one side of the thrust washer but look at this. If I put it on the recess in the thrust washer doesn't fully accommodate the chamfer or the radius on the crank pin and it can wobble about like that and that is why I've had trouble trying to true this one because I've had fluctuating gaps between the flywheels I've had the gaps between the flywheels about right and then the run out hasn't been good bumped the flywheels and then the flywheel the gap between them has opened and closed again as I've turned them and every time I've tried to deal with either the gap between the flywheels or the run out it's affected the other and I think it's down to this and this certainly would have been preventing the time inside flywheel from going fully home and um, leaving us with a few threads inside the crank pin that showing beyond the end of the crank pin. So I've got to somehow deal with this. Now I might be able to grind out a deeper, um, slightly larger diameter chamfer or bevel perhaps, get that to sit down more happily. It looks as if the uh, drive side one has gone fully home actually which is the side that I split it from before and the side where it seemed to be fully home initially so this is one I've not come across before I've not come across a radius quite that sort of big on a crank pin either um, but maybe dealing with this thrust washer or trying a different one might help that and then the time inside flywheel might go fully home and then I might finally be able to true these things properly but usually you do have a flat area beyond the radius on the uh, shoulder of the crank pin for the thrust washer to settle on flat and the flywheel to press nicely up onto it but we haven't got that at the moment so uh, it's uh, sort of I suppose interesting to have a new challenge never had this before Let's see what I can do about it, if anything.